nice to see you today. This is uh, a reading for April 2018 by Elijah from Wisdom Seekers. And this is this is the Messenger Oracle. And I'm going to read from the pull from this deck first. Which one should I pull? What one would you choose? Yeah, let's go with this one. All right. And I'm going to be a little bit OCD and put it all back nice and tidy. There. So, the first card is Nurture All You Love. That's a really good card. Now let's find out what it means. And I pull out the deck that I use all the time. This is my Spiral Tarot. I'm rather partial to it. It's easy to read. Well, I've been reading it for years. And it's a nice size in your hand. So first of all, nurture all that you love. And then I pulled the High Priestess. And for me, the High Priestess is a woman who's been involved in spiritual growth for many, many, many lifetimes and decades and has risen up very high. And she knows things that we, the rest of the world, doesn't know yet. And she watches. It's not that she's secretive. It's that if she tries to tell you things, most of us just don't understand. We have, we not at the point where the world, where we vibrate high enough to understand. But for you to pull this card would indicate that you're also rising up to that level. And you do know that there are three-headed foxes and that uh, that life continues on forever. All right, so what else does it have to say for you this month? Well, it says this, this is a chariot, and it's two major arcana, by the way. It says the chariot is stay in balance, be steadfast, and that that what you're looking for isn't immediate, but it's coming. And it will come faster if you stay steadfast. And the Ten of Cups. Wow. The Ten of Cups is a joy and happiness card. Obviously one of my favorites, but it's a mature joy and happiness. It indicates you have a lot lot to teach, a lot to, lot to let people know about, and this card doesn't fit, so that was the ending card. So, nurture all you love, and let's see what else we can find. And yes, this does fit in very nicely with the high spiritual growth that should be going on for you this uh, month. And with high spiritual growth, there's often lots of energy release. And when there's energy release, being human, we often do not enjoy it. Let's hope that we do enjoy it because we did get the uh, Ten of Cups. So it's time to ground. And when, when you're going through things in your life, that are helping you rise up high and fast. Grounding is the best way. Literally, grounding is the best way to keep yourself self from flying off and doing weird things, like sleeping for five, five hours, waking up for two, and then sleeping for another five hours or ten hours. Funny things that we don't usually do. So nurture all that you love. And they're talking about nurturing within yourself not outside of yourself. And the high spiritual values that you're, you're bringing in are, are awakening to. And stay the course, because it's going to bring you joy and happiness. But do, do remain grounded while you do it. And that was a quick read. Good read. I'm very pleased for you, Aquarius. Things are coming along nicely for you. Until May. May the, may the world look after you. And I'll talk to you later.